When working with programmable logical controllers or PLCs, understanding how programs execute is critical to designing efficient and reliable automation systems. We will explore the differences and the similarities in program execution methods used by Siemens and Rockwell. In Rockwell Studio 5000, RS Logic 5000, particularly when using their Control Logics and Compact Logic PLCs, program execution is structured around tasks. Each task dictates how and when the PLC program executes. Tasks in Rockwell systems can be event-based, periodic or continuous and can easily be created by right-clicking on Tasks in the left tree structure of Studio 5000 and selecting New Task. Now here's a quick breakdown of the three different task types. A continuous task executes as often as possible, which is the default mode of execution. It runs continuously and its scan cycle depends on how much logic is present in the task. The more logic a continuous task needs to process, the slower its execution will be. Only one continuous task can exist in a Rockwell PLC program. A periodic task runs at a fixed scheduled interval, for example 20 milliseconds, which can be specified right here. A periodic task guarantees that logic will execute on a strict time schedule, providing deterministic behavior. You can have multiple periodic tasks in a program, each with different time intervals. Finally, an event task is triggered by an event, such as a change in an access registration input, a motion execution or a module input data state change. Event tasks provide immediate response to changes and their execution can interrupt other tasks if configured to do so. In this example, I have created two periodic tasks, each with a 10 millisecond cycle. One task is dedicated to executing all logic related to equipment modules, while the other is used for executing logic related to machine modules. Siemens TIA portal uses organization blocks, or OBs, as the backbone for program execution. OBs define the structure and control the order and manner in which code is executed in Siemens PLCs. To add an OB to your program, simply go to the Program Blocks folder, choose Add a new block, and then select the Organization Block type. There are various types of OBs, each designed for a specific purpose. Here are some of the most commonly used ones. The OB1 is the main program cycle which executes cyclically, similar to the continuous task in Rockwell. It continuously executes logic and is often used for the main program logic. It is also the only OB that is automatically generated when a new PLC device is added. Cyclic interrupt OBs range from OB30 to OB38 and they are executed at predefined intervals, for example every 100 milliseconds. This is similar to periodic tasks in Rockwell. Each cyclic interrupt OB is tied to a specific time interval, allowing deterministic execution at regular intervals. Next up, hardware interrupt OBs ranging from OB40 to OB47 are OBs that execute in response to hardware events, similar to an event task in Rockwell. For instance, if a module detects an error, or a sensor signals a condition, the associated OB executes. Then you got your startup OBs, OB100, 101 and 102. These are executed during PLC startup or after a warm restart and they can be used for example to initialize variables or to declare configuration bits and parameters. And finally, error OBs ranging from OB80 to OB87 are used to handle specific faults such as cycle time overlaps, hardware errors, or I.O. communication problems. These OBs allow you to execute specific actions in response to various fault scenarios. So there's a whole lot of organization blocks in Siemens TIA portal. But the most important one, the one OB to rule them all, is the OB1, the continuous task. This is where you will call your various program modules. Siemens PLCs are extremely fast, 
often achieving cycle times as low as 1 millisecond, which stands in contrast to Rockwell PLCs, where a 10 millisecond periodic task is considered fast. So if you're transitioning from Rockwell to Siemens, prepare for a noticeable increase in speed. In summary, both Rockwell and Siemens PLCs offer distinct methods for program execution. Rockwell's approach centers around tasks, including continuous, periodic, and event tasks. While Siemens utilizes organization blocks as the core of its execution model, with OB1 acting similarly to Rockwell's continuous task, while other OBs handle periodic and event-driven operations. And if you're just about to get started with your first TIA portal project, or you simply want to get better at structuring PLC applications, then don't forget to grab my free guide. You can download the guide by simply clicking on the link in the description below this video. There's no better time than now to start your TIA portal journey. I'll see you on the next video.